It's cold out. <laughs> Back in Montana, I drove to Glendive for some new winter adventures. Today, the frozen barrens of Makoshika State Park. Okay, well I got a new toy. So I have a, a new uh, gimbal for my smartphone. So I kind of decided that I love my camera for those kind of small scale nature shots, but it's really, really awkward to try to capture things in the moment as they happen, right? Those kind of emotional reactions that I have when I'm seeing things. Because often what'll happen is I'll see something and then I have to go through the process of picking up that camera and finding the right angle on the ground and sitting down. And it just doesn't work nearly as well. But now, with this uh, stabilizer for my smartphone, I can just pull it out, pull my smartphone out, and just kind of talk while I'm hiking around, capture these things in the moment as they're here. And it works pretty nicely. Like, just give a quick tour of my surroundings here. As you can see, nice and stable. And so now I'm gonna be able to kind of walk around and talk here and there as I find the opportunity and just uh, further show some of the beautiful things I find out here. Winter's freezing touch brings remarkable changes to the landscape. A world revealed. You know, little things like that are just so, so cool. Because you, you exist in this kind of snowy, snowy landscape where it just starts to take on this character of this bright, shiny, reflective snow. But then you see those little, little hints of the world that lies underneath the snow. You know, this paved road with its yellow lines and all these things, by and large, disappears out here. But then all of a sudden, it just comes to life once you see just that little bare patch of snow. Stuff like that I just love so much and just bringing that to life is so cool. But under snow or not, the road through Makoshika was where I would roam. Step by step into a world full of wonder. One of the true gifts of snow are the breathtaking patterns that form all around you. Small worlds for the eye to play and thrive in. A place filled with beauty. Man, I gotta say, I really do love the kind of patchy world that appears when you have snow that fell just like a couple days ago and is starting to melt out. You know, it's just like these different universes where you have the paved road and then it just slowly turns into the white covered road of winter. And you really kind of see that pattern everywhere out here, right? Like just these sections of badlands that are exposed as it would be in the summer, but covered with these white patches and it just turns into almost something new, something completely different. Just amazing out here. Winter in Makoshika is full of unexpected treasures, small scenes of wonder to be seen for those who look. Road steepens. Fiery stories in the sandstone rock. Well, it's definitely windier. 
as I'm sure you can hear, quite, quite chilly. From the hill summit, I turned around to explore new places off of the road. dearly love exploring the unknown. I super, super love hiking through drainages like this, especially in the wintertime, because there's always this impression of just not necessarily knowing what's on the other side of these corners, of just kind of having the world unfold as you're hiking through it, and just suddenly making these kinds of visual discoveries on the other end. It's really quite amazing and it's just made all the more cool by the snow because you'll have tracks of various animals and things like that. And so it's just all these kind of unexpected surprises and discoveries that you make. When hiking through the winter drainage, surprises await at every corner. Transformed. Wander further, and the Badlands openly reveal themselves. Many dinosaur fossils are not the only gifts to be found in Makoshika. Until we meet again, wander 